This is a project I've been working on. And it is a little something I call the step tone sequencer, which is based off of the 556 chip. It's been modified from the original circuit, which was made by Forrest Mims the third and was in a little Radio Shack engineer notebook that I bought when I was a youngster and uh, it's a circuit that I've, I've seen crop up on the internet lately renamed, rebranded the uh, Atari Punk console so that's the circuit here and then this bit here is all the parts that are here, the LEDs, the potentiometers, the switches here. This portion of the circuit here, this is an oscillator that sets the clock speed and the 4017 decade counter which sends pulses to each one of these pots in order around the circle starting with one. This one's one. So the way it works is the switches, if it's forward, like so, it plays the note. If it's straight up, it's off. It mutes. It's a muted step, essentially a pause. If it's down, that's the reset. So let's say we start on step one. We only want four steps, so one, two, three, four. So we'd reset this one down. Now it will only play the four steps or however many you'd like. You can reset any any one of them. Over here we got a headphone jack little volume pot that I uh, salvaged salvage component there. The LEDs are bicolor LEDs so they they light up red all the time and then when the when when it is on, in, on that certain step it lights up the green element and it creates a yellow. So constantly red flashing yellow when they're on over here we have a power jack coax power jack but right now I'm running it on a 9 volt you can see down in here I freeformed ugly construction on the uh, back of the potentiometers here I got two resistors and a transistor the transistor controls the LED so that it doesn't suck power from the 4017 it uses the transistor instead so this pot is your clock speed this is a double pull double throw switch which essentially swaps these two or these two or whichever step you're on power here's a second knob of your step tone gen generator circuit so first off, before we play the sequencer, let me reset this second step, which will continually play the first step here. Turn that on. Turn the power on. See the lights are come on here. It's a pretty fun circuit by itself. You can make some interesting noises. But when you add the decade counter into the mix, it gets a lot more interesting.
So then let's mute some steps here. Possibilities are limitless. Anyway, thanks for watching.